Hello and welcome to ATP Report. I'm Barry Nussbaum. We are honored and so happy to have back with us national security expert, Claire Lopez. Claire is the founder of Lopez Liberty LLC. She's got a background in American Foreign Service. She's a national security expert. She's a former CIA big shot and we're thrilled to have her back. Hello, Claire. Hey, Barry, thank you very much. I'm glad to be back with you anytime. Um, I wanna tell our audience that I am astounded by the theories and evidence to back your theory that you have sent to me. And I consider the show we are about to do, and we're gonna do a follow-up after, um, one of the most important things you and I have ever discussed, and maybe out of the thousand plus shows ATP has done, this is in the top one or 2%. You have come up with an understanding of what's happening in America that was predicted a generation ago by some really, really bad people and everything that was written and predicted has come true. Tell us, in brief, what the heck I'm so upset about. Well, Barry, what we're talking about um, it was written in a book called The Naked Communist. The Naked Communist is a book that was written in 1958 by a former uh, FBI agent named W. Cleon Skousen. And from his, at that point in time, decades of experience uh, with the FBI, and up against communism, and as well, um, his, his understanding of uh, the testimony that I think he'd either heard or read about, took notes about in the congressional hearings of earlier in the 1950s by communist uh, and former communists who came to testify witnesses in front of the House on Un-American Activities Committee and also in the Senate, Senator Joseph McCarthy's committee. And he put together the book because he wanted to sort of consolidate in one place for Americans to have easy access to read and understand what he had come to understand about the communist threat that was infiltrating US government and every sector of American society. Claire, let's kick it off on this segment with number 20 and 21. 20 is infiltrate the press, get control of book review assignments, editorial writing and policy making decisions. And number 21 is gain control of key positions in radio, TV and motion pictures. And obviously now we have social media. I yeah, think both it, of these have happened, haven't they? Exactly. Um, you know, back at the time of the founding fathers, I don't think they could possibly have foreseen the rise of the tech giants we have today and their domination uh, of every form of media. But that's what we're looking at right now. And those media have all been infiltrated and influenced by the hard, hard left communist Marxist ideology right here laid out as the objective back in 1958. And when you add in Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Oh my gosh, they are creating the reality because if it's not being reported by them for 90 plus percent of the population, they don't know there is an alternative reality. Yeah, that's right. Unfortunately, I mean, we are talking about, uh, you know, legacy print media. We're talking about um, much of television, uh, be it, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the old uh, channels or the cable channels. Uh, we're talking, uh, of course, online. Uh, you mentioned Facebook, uh, Twitter, um, YouTube, uh, on and on. Uh, these have all been taken over by communist Marxist uh, interests, um, powerful interests. And there's very little that can push back against them, except for some uh, measure, in some measure, talk radio perhaps, not a lot else. Number 22, continue discrediting American culture by degrading all forms of artistic expression. And like they said, eliminate all good sculpture from parks and buildings and substitute shape, shapeless, awkward and meaningless forms. I would include 
in this one, number 22, all the historical statues that have come down, Washington, Lincoln, uh, Frederick Douglass, the ab ab abolitionists, anything American in our past, even if it's black people that were freeing black people or white people that were freeing black people, all of them are racist, all of them need to come down and our history needs to become meaningless. Has that already happened? That's exactly what's been happening. And terms and memes like racism, white supremacy, um, really don't mean what the dictionary says they mean anymore. They've become buzzwords in a way. Uh, but the point here of, of, of this number uh, uh, 22, but also a, a couple of more further down in the list, um, you know, uh, including 25, including uh, some of the others, it is a degradation, of, a, a deliberate targeted degradation of everything that's wholesome and solid and Judeo-Christian based uh, in our foundation to include, as you said, Barry, uh, the statues um, and you know anything that reminds people of who we are, really, who we are and where we come from, all of that has to be destroyed. I will mention a, a term in German uh, that, that is in German because the Communist Party of Germany back in the early 1900s uh, termed it or, or coined the term. Aufheben der Kultur. Aufheben der Kultur means destroy the culture. In modern parlance, what would we say? Cancel culture. Exactly. Same thing. 24 and 25, I think, have happened. Eliminate all laws governing obscenity by calling them censorship and a violation of free speech. Break down number 25. Break down cultural standards of morality by promoting pornography and obscenity in books, magazines, motion pictures, radio, TV. Hey, would that be drag queen story hour to start with? That's one awful example, isn't it? Uh, for little tots uh, in, in our local communities across America, for preschoolers, this is going on in our libraries. Uh, why library board elections matter? Um, and then, you know, the other part of the curriculum that, that's taught in schools, the sex education that is incredibly explicit. If it were anywhere else, it would be called pornography. But no, we're not to say that anymore because it's all okay now. You know, when I look at this and, and kind of a big picture, Claire, I'm stunned that as far as I know, you're the only one yelling out into the world, hey guys, open your eyes. We're, we've been taken over and subverted by a plan that started a long time ago. And now it's in the schools. I mean, you've got, two, you've got six year old kids learning to be drag queens. You're on the college campuses and the constitution is a stupid non-relevant document written by racist men who are white from the 18th century and ought to be discarded. And even the United States Congress, Claire, where you've got senators saying, I don't get why we need that constitution anymore. Oh my God, without that, we're not a country. We're certainly not this country anymore. What should the normal person out there do that's watching the show that ought to be freaking out right now? Well, I first thank anyone who, uh, everyone who, who is watching, because it's incredibly important, I think. Get a copy of The Naked Communist, look at chapter 13, The 45 Goals of Communism, and also take a look at the report, the final report of the 1776 Commission. Get our local school boards back to promoting uh, the founding fathers, our foundational principles. Uh, accurate representation of American history and culture and civics. Um, it, this, is, this is a battle that's going to be fought at the local level. And why school board elections, city council elections um, are, are so incredibly important um, because that's where this is going to be. Uh, this is where the fight is. This is how we take it back. This is how we restore uh, our constitutional republic and restore to a position of honor our heroes the founding fathers, uh, and, and, and all who made this country great. Um, this has to be turned around, but it can be and it will be by local citizen patriots at the local level. But pay attention to your local electoral 
races. And I mean school board, I mean county commissioners, I mean city councils, um, school board above all, perhaps. That is where the fight has to go. You know, I'm reminded as I'm listening to you, Claire, going all the way back to my political science days, I, I went to a conservative school that, well, we learned the Constitution. And what I'm thinking about right now as I listen to you is the misunderstanding that most Americans have as to why we have a Constitution. Most people think that the Constitution is to protect each other and the government from the people. When in reality, it's to protect the people from the abuses of the government. And that is why there's a Bill of Rights. And that's why the Bill of Rights was tacked onto the Constitution. And oh my gosh, so many of those freedoms that built this country are being stepped on, disregarded and disrespected to the point where, well, you know, it's some ancient history from hundreds of years ago written by racists. We don't need it anymore. And Claire, I think you make it very clear, we need it now more than ever before. Yeah, we absolutely do. And, you know, people may have thought that the Soviet Union came apart geographically in 1991, but communism did not. Communism and Marx Marxism continue their long march through the institutions and have re wreaked horrific destruction, but we can get it back. But it starts at the local level with parents, with citizen patriots. Well said. Claire, when can, where can people find out about you? Well, I do have a regular blog at Newsmax.com. I also post my writing and my videos uh, at Citizens Commission on National Security at Brandon House's Worldview Weekend, of course, the United West and American Truth Project. I also am online on social media at Claire M. Lopez on Twitter, Facebook, Parlay, uh, and where else? Telegram. Uh, so far. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> I don't know how you sleep. Thanks for coming on today. We sure appreciate it. I want to remind everybody out there that hasn't yet subscribed, sign up for our text message alert system, please. Text the word truth and send it in the message box to the number 88202%. You'll get all of our shows, including everything from Claire Lopez, absolutely for free, right on your cell phone. For Claire, I'm Barry Newsbaum. Thanks for joining us on ATP Report.